Hello, everyone. Rabbi Rosen here. I hope all is well with you. It's been a couple of very challenging, painful weeks as we continue to cope with the ongoing COVID-19 crisis and, of course, the aftermath of the brutal murder of George Floyd. It's just about a 10-minute drive from the place where Floyd was brutally killed to the beautiful urban lakes, the glimmering downtown area that boasts of arts and music and commerce, the place where Mary Tyler Moore famously tossed her beret into the air. The veneer of civilization is very thin indeed. How to cope with a reality such as this, a kind of reality that one can find throughout America in many places in the world, the line that separates between what we imagine ourselves at our best and the reality that there are so many, especially in the African-American community, that continue to bear the brunt of discrimination, of humiliation, and injustice. Today, I offer just a word. It's the name of the Torah portion of the week, Naso. The word has three meanings. It means to be counted. It means to carry. It means to lift up. Now is a time to be counted. Counted amongst those who care deeply about the future of our society and will stand shoulder to shoulder with all who would help raise the banner of justice to help ensure that for African Americans and for all of us, we will find ourselves in a far better world, one that we will create. We do so by seeing ourselves as agents of carrying the burden, to use a term from Pirkei Avot, the burdens of others, those who suffer under the thumb of unjust policies or economic distress and more. And this is how we lift up others and ourselves, rising to a higher kind of dignity and humanity as true partners of God's work for justice in this world. One word, three tasks, a path to healing. Let this be a week of Nassau, the beginning of a lifetime of transformation for ourselves and for America. Shabbat Shalom.